Today we're going to talk about how to combine text with JavaScript code inside JavaScript code and we're also going to talk about how to include other coding languages inside JavaScript. Now the reason I want to do this is because for the past couple episodes we talked about how to include or how to combine variables with strings inside JavaScript code but I haven't actually explained how or why you need to do so. So just to spend one episode explaining that we're going to do that today. So as you guys can see, right now I have two variables up here, one called first and one called last. And then I have my first name and my last name inside of them as values. I also have a function called full name. And the basic idea here is that when I call out my full name uh, function down here, I write out my full name with a space in between. So if I were to combine two variables inside my function here, I can go ahead and write return to make sure we actually return some kind of value that we can write out inside the browser down here. I'm going to write return first, just to see how this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the browser. As you guys can see right now, it says undefined because I have nothing inside my function. So it doesn't really know what to write. So it just writes undefined. If I refresh now, you guys can see it says Daniel. If I were to put my last name behind my first name, the way to do this is not by writing space and then writing last. Because if I do this, we get some we basically get nothing because it doesn't understand what this is. So in order to combine two different variables, we need to separate them with a plus because we're saying, okay, we're attaching something behind this piece of JavaScript code. You know, this is one piece of JavaScript code and this is another piece of JavaScript code. So we need to combine them by writing plus. If I were to refresh the browser now, you guys can see it says Daniel Nelson, but we have no space in between. And that's because it's going to combine it directly behind it. It doesn't matter if you wrote a space in between the plus or not. It's just going to combine it as one piece of text. So if I want to have a space in between them, we need to include a string. And the string is just going to be a basic string with a space inside of it. So if I were to go right after the plus symbol and say, OK, so we have JavaScript code. Now we need to have a string right after it. We're switching from JavaScript to a string and we also need to separate it by a plus symbol. So if I go after the plus, I'm going to write a string by writing double quotes and then I can write space. So now we have a space in between them, but wait, we have another piece of JavaScript code after the double quotes. So we need to make sure we also have a plus symbol in between these two. So if I were to refresh the browser now, you guys can see we get a space in between. So basically, when we switch from JavaScript code to a string, we need to add a plus. And when we go back from a string to JavaScript code, we need to add a plus. And we can do this as many times as we want. So this was how to include a string. And of course, you know, I could write some text in between here. It would also show inside the browser like so. But let's say if I want to style this piece of text here, I want to style Daniel Nelson by including, you know, HTML code around it. What I can do here is I can go ahead and go right before first and I can include another string separating the string from first with a plus symbol, of course, because we need to do that. And then I can go ahead and write HTML code directly inside the string. So if I were to write lesser than P greater than, which is a paragraph tag in HTML code, then we can basically start out our HTML code around, you know, the first and last name variables. Of course, at the end here, we also need to have the paragraph closed. So we need to include another string where we close off the paragraph tag. Okay, zoom out a bit so we can see everything. And this is basically how we can include HTML code. Right now we have paragraph tags around it, but if I want to style it, I can just simply style it inside here if I want to. Again, we need to write single quotes because we do have double quotes around here. Or we can include a class like so. That's basic, you know, it's just basic HTML styling. So I'm not going to go into how to style this because you, sh you should know how to do this by now. Um, but that's basically how you can do it. Now, when it comes to PHP code, if some of you guys have a PHP background, let's actually go ahead and delete what we have here. So now I just have a basic string. If I want to write PHP code, a typical habit from coders that has, you know, PHP as a background is to write the opening PHP tags and then go down a couple of lines and then close the PHP tags. But wait, we get an error message. And that's because when we have a 
you know, a document write or a return, and we want to write PHP code, we can't have lines in between like this. So we basically need to have everything on one line like so. And then we can, for example, echo out, I don't know, some kind of st string again in PHP, which could be hi there if you wanted to. So that's basically how we include PHP code inside JavaScript. Do you remember, we cannot go down to next line like we would in PHP code because otherwise it's not gonna see it as, you know, part of the return string up here or the return line. So that's basically how we can combine, you know, JavaScript with other pieces of code or combine strings with JavaScript. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.